Um, okay, let's get dive right into it. Um, so throughout the last couple of years, we have seen that there is an explosion in the new web pages that have been introduced on the internet. And there are a huge number of these new domains that are actually malicious. And uh, malware is only evolving and growing in many different ways, which we need to, which needs to be addressed. Um, now, more than 60 million malicious domains were released in second half of the last year. And out of which the large number of malwares that were seen out is still zero there on the web. Um, and what's worse is that as the browser gets more complex and as they are getting more and more OS-like, browsers are offering n number of pathways for adversaries to launch attacks to the users, um, which means that with malware, we also need to secure the browsers and the browsing environment to limit the adversary reach. Um, here is a good example for a multiple browser-based attack vectors. So there are multiple different way ways an attacker or um, you a client machine can be compromised. So there are JavaScript, cross-site scripting issues. There are malwares, DNS poisoning, just to name a few. What isolation helps with is it's, it's a adding a security layer and helps the user device with safe rendering uh, of the web content. So with remote server or the host, um, so with, with the websites that we put in the isolation, what it helps with is basically the zero day attacks, um, prevent browser with all the exploits and also prevent the data loss um, when you are in an isolated container. Um, so what we have introduced here with Prisma Access is um, our own inbuilt isolation technology, uh, which provides zero trust isolation uh, layer um, of security. Um, it is a, I, we, pro, we have combined multiple different technologies uh, which are available out there for RBI um, to provide a secure isolation, the near native experience, for the users and at the same time, the zero trust security. Now let's look at a solution architecture um, or an overview of how the solution looks like. So today, with all the traffic that are going via Prisma access to the internet can be uh, allowed through based on the policies. Um, with help of our security capabilities, we can block these malicious traffic um, as well. Now with isolation, that is, or the traffic that needs to be isolated, which comes to Prisma access, we will deem that traffic or redirect the traffic to the user to set up a stream with the isolation container. And once that stream is set up, um, the user can actually now go and access the website. Now, even during an isolation, we still have the Prisma access policies implemented on all the traffic that is going via our RBI container. Um, and you can still apply all the CDSS capabilities on top of it. Um, talking about some of the use cases, um, so there are, two different buckets from the security perspective for managed devices. One being a, you can isolate traffic for any risky uh, or suspicious websites. Um, or you can, we have also seen C-level execs which are more prone to attacks um, so considering the amount of access they have. Uh, you can choose to do isolation for all the web traffic for those high value customers or high value users um, overall. The other uh, use case that we are talking about is the dynamic security 
for managed devices, which is you can isolate traffic or isolate all the web traffic for a user based on the risk scores or based on the risky behaviors that the users are um, performing. So here is an example or a view of how we do or leverage the Azure, Azure risk score. So we have something called Cloud Identity Engine as part of Prisma Access, which helps with learning the risky uh, behavior, which Azure can forward these risky scores to Cloud Identity Engine. And with help of that, you can leverage dynamic user groups as part of CIE to enforce isolation. So depending on what kind of activity that Azure is monitoring for the users can be leveraged for enforcing uh, isolation for all of these users. Now talking about technology itself. So there have been, there has been eval uh, evolution of technology within uh, RBI. The very first generation uh, being the pixel based which provided a very good security, but the UX suffered uh, because of the pixel pushing. Um, then came the DOM-based, which improved on the UX performance uh, compared to the Gen 1, but it would not send, but uh, it would send the assets like CSS and fonts directly, which can be executed on the endpoint, which is exposing the security vulnerabilities. Um, then came the vector base, which is the third gen, which fills in the gaps for all of your gen one and gen two technologies, but it still did not address the dynam dynamic real-time applications like O365 that demanded a super low latency uh, interactivity. Um, that is where we developed our in-house remote browser isolation, uh, which is a Gen 4, uh, which combines multiple different approaches to deliver the best security, best performance, and the best UX, um, which helps with modern applications like O365 Suite, um, which can be experienced with near-native near performance through the Palo Alto Network's uh, RBI. Uh, um, we can also render image, uh, images and all the other con content even at a high resolutions because of the because of our vector based approach. We do not have limitations on resolution or pa page content size limits uh, when using our fourth gen rendering technology. Um, so. Just as an example, like PNG images that get blurry when scaled versus the SVG images. Um, here, the here is a good example of the actual stream that you that the user sees uh, for the isolated session. So, as you can see, um, when you are using the PanW RBI, there are no image URLs, there are no fonts, there are no malicious extensions that attackers can manipulate. However, when you are using DOM mirroring RBI, um, as we were talking before, uh, you can see all of those information being exposed uh, uh, to on the client machine, which can be exploited. So, to, uh, so basically the legacy RBI models are falling short. And um, so DOM-based RBI, which is, has known security risk, and is not completely air gapped. Uh, it's only the next gen RBI, which enables extremely powerful and granular advanced TLP outcomes. Um, with the poor UX, which comes as a part of pixel-based RBI, um, and with high band video streams, it becomes very clunky to use. It, it forces providers to only use RBI for specific use cases instead of broad bring your own device access. Um, and there are costs that are post, passed on to the customers via higher prices for inferior product. Uh, with Palo Alto Networks RBI, we have a hybrid approach of combining vector and pixel-based RBI, which provides the best of all the worlds. And 
Palo Alto Networks has the right technological foundations to deliver multiple RBI use cases. Now, talking about how to configure or how the isolation profiles look like to limit the control on what a user can do, uh, they are all a knob kind of uh, view wherein you can create isolation profiles to protect the users from file upload, download, or viewing files within isolation. You can prevent data leaks from blocking the copy-paste prevention, and you can also restrict printing controls. Um, talking about how to apply isolation profiles, um, you can, the way we do it is you can, the configured um, isolation profiles can be leveraged as part of URL categories. And when you enable RBI as a function, um, on the Prisma Access Tenant, you now have a new action called Isolate. Now, when you select that Isolate uh, option, you can then select the isolation profile, which is enforcing what kind of activity a user can do in an isolated session. Um, our RBI works with all the on-ramps, be it Global Protect, Explicit Proxy, or a user coming from the branch office or by, through the remote networks. Um, and all the data from the visibility perspective is a centralized view for the users, uh, for the admins to see the users, their activities, or the security posture as well. Um, so similarly to what you saw with the screenshots right now were, our, were from our Strata Cloud Manager. Similar to that, you can also do all of these configuration right from the Panorama as well. And you have a similar kind of a layout for configuring RBI on Panorama 